What's up? This is High Def with your Deviate News for August 5th, 2008. It's the first Tuesday of the month. That means we've got all your need to know PlayStation news. The Deviate News staff has been working hard updating the Deviate forums with all the freshest PlayStation news to keep you current. We've got all that must-know information in the breakdown. Later, we'll show you highlights from the Break Apples Bank contest that took place between defending champion Smoke Osama from the 101 clan and LPK's leader Chaka. Who continues on and hopes to win up to $150 of Apple's money? You'll have to stay tuned to find out. Also, Sawkiller's back with Ask Deviate. And Apple, what's coming up in the loop? As usual, Hi Def, I've got clan announcements from within the PlayStation community, and on this in the loop, I'll also be informing our viewers of some of their options in tournaments and ladders for gamers to choose from. Sounds great. We'll see you in just a bit. But now, let's get into the breakdown. With Call of Duty 5, World at War, not scheduled to be out until mid-November, and Call of Duty 4, now on its ninth month, Infinity Ward seeks to breathe new life into its game by adding a new playlist. Bare Bones Team Deathmatch, Hardcore Headquarters, Multibomb Search and Destroy, and Hardcore Free For All. 402, the Public Relations Guy, <laughs> for Infinity Ward, Thought this playlist would go live this past weekend, but they found critical bugs that needed to be removed. So at this time, there is no ETA, but word is they are hard at work to get this new playlist to you within the next couple of weeks, if not sooner. For complete details on each of these new modes, check out the Call of Duty 4 section on our forums. Little Big Planet, scheduled to be hitting shelves on October 21st, is currently on the road with the PlayStation Experience truck, giving gamers a chance to play this highly anticipated game. The truck has already rolled through Cleveland, Ohio, and Tulsa, Oklahoma, and it was just at the Summer X Games in Los Angeles, California, but it still has stops left in Baltimore, Maryland, and Portland, Oregon. For dates and specific locations, check out the Little Big Planet section on our forums. Just before the release of Little Big Planet, kicking off on October 5th is the first ever Rock Band Live Tour, allowing gamers to perform on stage in between sets of modern rock bands like Dashboard Confessional and Panic at the Disco. Winning bands to play will be selected by local radio stations, national contests, and on-site competitions. Stay tuned to upcoming Deviate News shows to find out how you can take your rock band skills from the living room to the stage. In case you haven't noticed, PSN cards are now available for purchase in denominations of $20 and $50. Wonder why you haven't seen them at your local Best Buy or GameStop? Well, according to PlayStation, the official magazine, these long-awaited cards are only available at two stores, Meyer and Pamita. Now, through a little research, Deviate News found Meyer only has locations in five Middle Northern states. Pamita covers 16 states, but again, Middle Northern states. And when Deviate News called both stores, neither had the cards available or had a clue they were supposed to carry them. So since these elusive cards are still not available, Deviate News suggests checking out wiredplastic.com. This loadable debit card has been tested and works in the PlayStation Store. For those under 18, this shouldn't be too hard of a sell to your parents since it works just like a gift card. In other disappointing PlayStation news, according to our senior staff member Swerve, we have another delay to report. This one involving Life with PlayStation, a service that allows PS3 users to view interactive content and channels using a worldwide 3D map interface. In a statement made from Noam Ryan, Senior Development Manager, Life with PlayStation should debut this month, but has no specific date. I guess fortunate for PlayStation, gamers have become accustomed to the word delay. I wonder how they'd feel if I delay the payment of my next game. So we'll all have to wait, just like we've been waiting for home. Coming up next, Salt Killer answers your questions from our Deviate forums. Then, Asian Apple will be keeping you in the loop with your PlayStation community. And when I come back, I'll have the results and highlights for the intense 10 minute battle between 101 Smoke Osama and LPK's Chaka. So stay tuned. No matter the job, it's worth having the right tools. 
to have that small advantage on the competition. Fat Grips, made of microfit Santaprene, guaranteed to improve your grip on the game. Get your Fat Grips today at FatGrip.com. Hello there and welcome back to Ask DB8, the segment where you, the viewer, get to ask us questions and we answer them live on the air. You know me as your host, Sock Killer, but you know what? I'm not going to go with that name anymore. My true gaming name is The Sock. Just because some retard kid in Thailand took that on the PlayStation Network doesn't mean I can't be there as well, seeing how that is my true freaking name! Anyway, let's move on. As always, these are actual questions from actual viewers. The first question is from Deadly Intent of the AOA clan who asks, Will DV8 stop playing Call of Duty 4 when SOCOM comes out, or will you try to keep a balance between the two? Well, Deadly, Despite some of our criticisms about the game, we will never stop playing Call of Duty 4. Unlike some other less talented individuals, we can multitask to the extreme. When SOCOM comes out, in fact, we're going to be playing both games at the same time. How? Well, it's easy. By using one controller in each hand. Sure, in one game we're just going to be running around in circles, and the other game we're just going to be shooting straight in the air, but at least we'll be playing both at the same time. In fact, we play Call of Duty right now while doing a multitude of other tasks. For example, eating breakfast. Or doing laundry. Even while we sleep. We're pretty good at multitasking, huh? Anyway, the next question is from Straight Hate, a Deviant News staff member from Bay City, Michigan. He wants to know who I would pick, Eva Mendez or Eva Longoria? Well, if this is 2002, I would probably pick Mendez, but you really gotta go with who's hot right now. As someone else who's hot right now, I would have to say Longoria. Plus, she can make that clutch three-point basket at the end of the game. That's her husband? Well, at least she can maintain a 290 batting average over the course of the season. That's Evan Longoria of the Tampa Bay Rays? Sorry guys. Excuse my research team appears to be sleeping on a job today. That's all the time we have for today. Be sure to tune into the next show where we answer the most anticipated questions so far. If someone who's about to die in the electric chair has a heart attack, should you save them? Find out our answer in the next show and be sure to log on to the DBA forums and submit your questions to the answers on an upcoming show. Alright, back to you guys. His songs are timeless. His voice is legendary among ocean-dwelling mammals. Now available for the first time on land, Watershed Classics is proud to present Wadim, Master of the Song. Available now on compact disc and cassette. Operators are standing by.